As an experienced person, what will you tell the new people? What courses can they do to enhance their skill set? Can we have an understanding of like what is your future plan now? Have you done some uh, internship, part-time job right now? The specialization this course has. Can you expand that a little bit? Yeah, before applying, uh, I think we should definitely check Okay, so at the moment I'm here in the University of Hildesheim and if you're somebody who's interested in masters in data analytics this video is for you this is one of a kind course which uh, I'm interviewing for the first time actually so we'll get to the course curriculum what sort of jobs people will end up having so I have him and him as a absolute fresher they've just yeah. come ye inka pehla din hai and uh, Indranil is an experienced person he's uh, towards the end of your masters right yeah, no. so uh, make sure that you watch today's video till the end why don't we quickly start with your introductions and then we'll talk about what is your profile and all that hello guys my name is indranil i'm from uh, mysore karnataka and i've been here for three semesters now it's one and a half year since i've been here i'm almost done with my subjects uh, i have one more subject and thesis left to do and uh, what bachelor's did you do i did my bachelor's in uh, computer science yeah. back in uh, india what was your score i got 8.5 cgpa in uh, my bachelor's and i gave my ielts exam and it was Eight band. Mm. Yeah, I'm Santosh. I'm from Chennai. I just arrived in Hildesheim today morning, and I'm going to start my masters in data analytics. I did my bachelor's in uh, mechanical engineering from VIT Chennai. Additionally, I did my minors in computer science. Was it part of the bachelor's course or outside? No, I have to take a uh, few additional credits, like around twenty credits. I have to take uh, additionally in your bachelor's. In, in, yeah, in my bachelor's uh, from in in the in the field of computer science. Right. So I will take all the core computer science courses like operating. Science. system dbms so all those things hi my name is ayush sharma and i am from jammu jammu kashmir india and i have recently completed my bachelor's of engineering in computer science in 2023 and uh, after that i gave ielts and scored 7.5 bands and uh, i applied in around 18 universities and i got admit uh, from university of hildesheim so uh, right now i am pursuing my masters in, uh, in data analytics from university of hildesheim i had a cgp of around uh, 9.4 So you applied for in 18 universities. How many you got selected in? I got uh, accepted in only two universities. Nine point how much CGPA? Nine point four. What went wrong as per you with such a high score? Yeah, I think it mostly depends upon uh, the uh, courses that you took in your bachelor's. CGPA doesn't matter a lot. What matters is the course uh, in their university, in a German university, should match with your uh, bachelor's course. Indranil, why don't you talk about what is the prerequisite to get into this course? So uh, basically, the prerequisite is you must. Just have a degree in computer science or mathematics background. Even statistics, I've seen people uh, who have done statistics here. Any grade requirement? I don't think there's any uh, grade requirement as mm. such. Can we know uh, post completion of this degree? What kind of jobs we will end up getting? There are uh, our seniors who are working in uh, all kinds of sectors. I mean, uh, like every sector needs a data analytics uh, job, I guess. And then uh, there are people who are doing. There are people who are doing uh, machine learning research. There are so many people who have started PhDs. Okay. Can we talk a little bit about course? curriculum what subjects do you guys have any specializations you have yeah uh, so basically when you start out uh, in winter semester you get to do um, machine learning and uh, modern optimization techniques these are the two main subjects and uh, you can also take up machine learning lab which is very helpful uh, to you know get a practical exposure how is all these subjects what you're talking about going towards ml ai right or data science and why the course is called as data analytics yeah that's one thing even we are <laughs> very uh, confused about right but it's a great opportunity for somebody who's not from cs to also enter this course i guess right yeah Would yeah, you say that exactly? Yeah, like there are there are so many people, as I yeah. said, like people from statistics, mathematics background who are doing this. And this course is mainly research based. Like if you want to pursue a PhD or something, uh, right. it would be very helpful for you. You know, Santosh, you're from mechanical background, right? Yeah. And now you you will be starting your course here in Germany in almost it's called as data analytics. What we just heard. Yeah. With more of the but ML, more in ML side, yeah. ML side, right? Do you come with that background? Uh, I have an internship experience of like uh, six months in data science. So mm. I I did. It's some uh, ML, uh, Python, and yeah, all those things uh, in my internship. Uh, yeah, additionally, uh, as I said, uh, I have my minor in computer science, so I have some programming experience as well. How many universities did you apply? I think around twelve. And how many you got selected? I guess six. Wow, yeah. six. <laughs> <laughs> what well, can we talk a little bit about with your bachelor's which masters program and courses you were applying 
into mostly uh, data science and computer science related courses so you didn't have even a thought in your head that you were competing directly with computer science guys right with your yeah. mechanical degree yeah even i went to some of the uh, consultancies in uh, uh-huh. chennai but they told like it's, it's impossible. nearly impossible yeah and which all universities you got selected and what course if you can just name few fa verlang and i got into uh, autonomy technologies mm-hmm. and then uh, i forgot the name No worries. Make sure that you check the description. I'll put all the university and the courses where you got yeah. selected. Maybe they can have a look at it. Can we talk a little bit about? Did you do your own application or you did? Yeah, I did my own for my this own. course. Yeah, it's for it's pretty analytics. simple for this university. What's yeah. the process of application? They just uh, give give you a link where, where you can just uh, upload your resume, your uh, bachelor transcripts, and then they will have separate uh, spaces for all those courses. So they will have a math, and then you have to mention all the courses you took related to math, uh-huh. and then for programming, and then for computer science this application process is not via uni assist it's not via uni assist it is via university directly portal through the, yeah directly through the university portal. any application fees you had to pay no nothing okay can we have an understanding of like what is your future plan now i know you have not even started the course but like ek thought leke aaya hoga ki yaar future mein mereko kya karna hai right do you have anything in your head right now and yes uh, main ai aur ml ki field mein hi aage main research karna chahta hu right yeah but so ye course bhi kyunki usi ke usi se align karta hai isme machine learning aur आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस और बिग डेटा एनालिटिक्स के जो हैं मॉड्यूल्स हैं तो वो जो है मेरे को काफी हेल्प uh, करेंगे जॉब उसमें इसी फील्ड में लेने के लिए एंड यू सेड यू गॉट सिलेक्टेड इन थ्री यूनिवर्सिटीज और फोर जस्ट टू यूनिवर्सिटीज व्हाट वेयर दे एंड व्हाट कोर्सेज वेयर दे यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ हिलदेशाइम इन डेटा एनालिटिक्स कोर्स एंड यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ बैंबर्ग इन इंफॉर्मेशन सॉफ्टवेयर साइंस आई अप्लाई टू अराउंड 18 यूनिवर्सिटीज आई गॉट रिजेक्ट फ्रॉम बॉन सारलैंड टू बर्लिन टू डार्मस्टार्ट एंड आई एम श्योर इन योर रिजेक्शन लेटर्स देयर वर वैरायटी ऑफ रीजंस व्हाई दे रिजेक्टेड यू राइट Yeah, most of that uh, were only uh, because of the uh, course not match- matching with their bachelor's yeah. degree. You were doing your own application. Yes, I did all my application all by myself. Application. Yeah, even for Hildesheim where you are. Yes, right yes, now. I applied by myself. Okay, and what is the semester contribution for this course? Yeah, it's around three uh, sixty euros. Three sixty euros per semester. That's yeah? right. And it's a four semester program or three? Yes, this is a four semester program. Four semester program. Yeah. Okay, and uh, this course is a. Uh, do you think is it a? As an experienced person right now on the on the table right now, what will you tell the new people when they're applying for this course or before coming what courses can they do to enhance their skill set i don't think you can like uh, you, you can just come and like you know uh, while uh, in the university you can get to learn a lot so you don't have to do any prerequisite courses right. maybe learn some programming or like get a refresher on, in maths uh, engineering maths right i think that should be uh, enough for you to do this degree and uh, have you done some uh, internship part time job right now uh, no here? i'm actually looking for one right now uh-huh. uh, i'm in the process of applying for uh, Uh, internships since i'm almost done with the subjects i want to do an internship of 6 months before i start my thesis right so and uh, can we talk a little bit about the specialization this course has can you expand that a little bit machine learning advanced machine learning and then reinforcement learning methods of uh, modern techniques of optimization uh, mm. mo- modern optimization techniques right yeah these are the courses that we do and it's mainly based on uh, ai and data science so you're getting into it last question to both of you especially what's that one advice do you want to give to new students who are filing an application they should avoid while filing while doing the admission process yeah before applying uh, i think we should definitely check there will be prerequisites in the dad website you can uh, definitely check not just the you know uh, they will mention masters in computer science or masters in mechanical engineering it will be like a prerequisite but if you search it uh, you know properly you can find that there will be uh, in some universities they will mention these courses should have been taken in mm. their bachelors so we have to check whether uh, we have taken those courses so even if the course name doesn't match uh, you know yeah, the degree doesn't match if you have taken all those uh, prerequisite yeah. courses in our bachelors there, there is an higher chance that we can get selected got it Any last advice do you have for new students yeah first thing we should do is apply by ourselves because the process is uh, fairly simple and uh, everyone can do it by themselves yeah. and uh, second thing is uh, you, uh, we should uh, prioritize uh, universities based on two things first is uh, the course and uh, second is city because uh, jobs will uh, also be uh, lesser in a smaller city as compared to a yeah. bigger city like frankfurt or uh, munich that's all guys so uh, if you're interested in uh, masters in data analytics make sure that you go to the official website and check their prerequisites and if you have any question reach out to the university directly they're the right people to answer your question and uh, make sure that you check the description if you haven't subscribed the channel make sure that you do that and i'll see you guys next time